Hello my friends and welcome back. Today is Saturday and Liam and I are currently in isolation. Liam has a bit of a spicy cough going on. I don't know which order my vlogs are going up in. So if you see this one first, this is our fourth day of isolation. I filmed the first three days in another vlog that I guess will be coming after. I'm sorry about the mix up, but that vlog needs approval and sometimes it just doesn't come very quickly. So you will be seeing another isolation vlog after this. Like I said, it is day four and I actually don't have a whole lot to do in terms of like work and stuff. Like I do work from home. So obviously staying home and having to isolate doesn't impact that, but because I've been home for three days straight, I've kind of got ahead on a few things. So <laughs> I'm a bit lost on what to do. I've definitely done a lot of reading. I also started re-watching Survivor Season 5 because Season 5 is truly just elite. It's so good. It's my favorite season of all time. And even watching it the second time, I'm like, this is just so good. Um, I think it's just... It's just my comfort show, really. But I decided to write a list of things that I want to do during these next, like, three or so days that we've got left. Some things are things that I've been wanting to do and just haven't had the chance, haven't had the time to do, and some things are things that I don't want to do and I've been putting off, but they just need to be done. So I've been doing, like, multiple loads of washing, catching up on all of our linen and, like, towels and, like, all that sort of stuff. Lots of cleaning. I want to declutter our garage because we have a lot of stuff that we just kind of, like, put there when we moved and, like, never really organized. I also want to do just some like fun activities that I haven't had the chance to do. I got given a paint by numbers by my friend for Christmas and it's like a personalized one so it's actually like a photo of me and Liam and I think that's so cool so I would love to get started on that but I think it's gonna be like a long-term project and I also want to do some like DIY sort of situation. I have my Cricut machine that I have not used enough as I should have. Oh the sun just really disappeared and I want to use it so I guess we'll see what we get up to over the next couple days. I think this is just gonna be a weekend vlog because like I have nothing better to do so I thought I'd hang out with you guys but I finished a book the other day and then yesterday I started a new one so I started reading Divergent because I've never read these books like the series the trilogy or seen any of the movies and I have no idea why because I was such a huge Hunger Games kid I remember in primary school one of my friends had the Hunger Games book and she read it and she's like Rachel this book is so good you need to read it and so she let me borrow it she used to let me borrow so many books and that's how I feel like I fell in love with reading do you ever think about the books that you read when you were younger and you're like why did I read that like I fully read read My Sister's Keeper when I was like 11 years old and I'm like that probably wasn't good for my mental health but anyway she lent me The Hunger Games and I like devoured it I've never read a book so quickly and I think reading that book was like the start of me being like obsessed and like loving loving reading like it was the first time I'd ever read a book so so quickly and then she convinced her mom to buy the second and third book and then she read them and passed them on to me and I was so excited. I remember the second book, I tried to make it like last a whole week because I was so obsessed and like I didn't want it to be over. Still to this day, I think that the second book and the second movie are my favorite. And then the third book, I remember, I was so excited that I fully just sat in my room for an entire Saturday and read the book from beginning to end and I had never done that before. And that was before any of the movies were released. So I think when the first one came out, we went and watched it together and it was just like the most exciting thing ever. Anyway, that's besides the point. What I'm trying to tell you is that I've never gone into the Divergent trilogy and I'm so shocked because I feel like it's quite similar. It's like three books, dystopian, girl starts off in a lower kind of class and then kind of, you know, makes her way up or whatever is like the chosen one basically. So I started this yesterday. I'm up to page 157, chapter 13, and I'm loving it. I just love a fun YA dystopian adventure kind of thing. Um, I got this book from the op shop a few months ago for like two dollars So it's not my favorite cover ever and it has not been taken good care of but it's fine My only worry is that after I finish this I don't have the second or third book and obviously because I'm in isolation I can't go out and get it and I don't want to buy it brand new because I know for sure I can get it secondhand because so many people owned this book back in the day So I guess I'll either wait to finish the series until I'm out of isolation and can go to the op shop Or I might see if I can borrow the ebook from my library, but we'll see how I feel right now I'm like Loving it. It's just so fun. If you guys saw my last vlog, I read A Thousand Boy Kisses and it was just so, so, so sad. And I just needed something kind of fun after that. Like, I was like, I cannot read another romance and like deal with another sad book or I guess not even a romance just anything that will make me sad so I decided to read something a bit more like adventurous and fun and YA because it's usually well I guess the last book I read was YA as well and that was not light-hearted at all but usually they're a little bit a bit easier to read so that's the only thing I really got going for me right now I guess I'll update you guys when there's something more interesting going on <laughs> So 
I have pulled out my handy dandy Cricut and I'm gonna try and make some stickers to go on this glass that I have from Amazon. I want to make one of those flower glasses that I've seen on Pinterest and on Instagram and stuff. I didn't want to buy one because I was like, I think I can make that. There definitely is supposed to be another cord. The issue is, where did I put the cord that connects my Cricut to my computer? Here's something that I don't love about myself. I like to put things in safe places and then I forget where that safe place was. No, that's not the right one. I know I would have put it somewhere safe. No. Why do I have four boxes for my electric like cords and stuff? Why don't I just have one? Every time I put it somewhere different, because I'm like, yeah, I'll remember where I put that. No, I will not. No, I will not. Second box of electronics, not in there. Did I put it in here? No. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I know what it looks like. <sighs> looks like a white cord <laughs> with a USB. Where would I have put that? I know I have it somewhere. White cord with USB? No, wrong one. No. I genuinely don't know where I put it. <laughs> Guys, I found it. Guess where it was? Obviously somewhere very safe and very logical. It was in the box with my essential oils for my diffuser. That literally makes zero sense, but apparently my brain thought that was a great place. <sighs> it makes me mad that my brain works this way, but I am constantly losing things. Constantly. Someone please explain that to me. I just don't quite understand. Ah. Bro, chill. What? What's wrong? Ah. Why is it flashing red? Why is my cricket flashing red? I don't know what's going on. Let's try this again. Oh man, it is connected. Bro. Hmm. Yes. So we are doing this on vinyl. If you were smarter, you would do this with permanent vinyl, but I don't have that. And I'm impatient and I'm in isolation, so I can't get any. So what I did was I went on Procreate on my iPad and I just drew some flowers, the shape that I wanted them to be. There we go. Um, I just made three and they're all slightly different, a little bit like mismatched because that's just what I thought would look cute. And then I just copied and pasted that design on my Cricut. Let's go. She's done, ladies. You can kind of see the flowers. See how they're all cut out? How cute. Obviously this is not a tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so let me get my YouTube video up that I was following. Everything that I've learned about my Cricut machine, I've learned from YouTube. And then what do I do? Because this is why it's gonna be so hard for you guys to see it. I'm so sorry. They look so cute though. Fun. I always feel bad wasting this vinyl though because it's not like the cheapest thing in the world. So I just cut them all out. You literally can't see a thing, can you? You can kind of barely see them. I made them a little bit smaller than I feel like I've seen other people do just because I think that'll look cuter, but you could obviously make them bigger. For this next step, I'm definitely supposed to be using transfer paper, but I think that I don't need to. I definitely should, but I feel like I could just use it as a normal sticker. I'll just stick it on. Right? They're not super delicate stickers, so how cute! Are you joking? Like I said, I'm not using permanent vinyl, so this is not gonna stay. <laughs> I kinda just wanted to see if I could do it, and then I think I'll order some permanent vinyl to be able to do this properly. Also, if you have a Cricut, this would be such a good and like affordable gift or something to do. I think your friends would enjoy this. I definitely made too many stickers for one cup as well. And people do all sorts of shapes, like smiley faces or little rainbows, really cute things. I need to use my Cricut more. It's so fun. I feel like such a kid doing little projects like this. And you can do it with colored vinyl as well. Like I have a few colors that could be cute, but again, you'd probably want to use permanent. Okay, this is the final product that turned out so cute. 
imagine a little like iced latte or a, a matcha would look so cute i don't drink matcha but this would be so cute how fun love a little diy moment My parents just came to our door and dropped off this little like care package which is so cute first of all we have an orchid which i am scared i'm gonna kill so if anyone has any tips how to look after this please let me know i can never seem to keep these sort of plants alive we also have some of liam's favorite lollies oh my gosh this is a big pack too obviously heaps of chocolate some cinnamon donuts we are spoiled and we have some sponges. Um, my mom actually texted me this morning. She's like, is there anything you guys need? Obviously being in isolation, can't go out and get stuff. And we did an online shop the other day and it got delivered, but we forgot to get sponges and we desperately needed some. So that's the only thing I asked for, but that is so nice of them. We're having a little isolation date night tonight. We got some Indian for dinner from Uber Eats. We're watching some Survivor. It's a candlelit dinner, if you will. So I got... Did I end up getting better chicken? I think I did. Liam just got us some Nexpa, pineapple Nexpa. What did you get? Lamb. I don't know how to pronounce it. We don't know how to pronounce it, but we did get some naan bread and some rice as well, of course. I've just hopped into bed because honestly, there's just not a whole lot more to do. I'm gonna keep reading. I didn't get through a whole lot more of this book. I'm almost halfway now, like just over 200 pages. And this is just under 500 pages long so i'll probably still be reading it for a few more days but it's so good which i mean that might sound so silly because i'm sure <laughs> everyone and their dog <laughs> has either read this book or seen the movie by this point but i'm having so much fun reading it i just really needed a good fast pace kind of adventure book so loving it one thing that i am really glad that we're doing is just kind of staying in routine even while we're in iso liam is still pretty much studying every day and i'm still just doing my normal work my emails my editing all that sort of stuff we're still going to bed at the same time waking up at the same time which i think is good because when we are out of iso we won't have to kind of reset into a brand new routine again but at the same time i am trying really hard to properly rest because i'm kind of forced to right now and i think it's good to use this time to my advantage just like rest my body because obviously i can't really do a whole lot of exercise right now and also still like take the weekend off like today i didn't really do any work because it's saturday and tomorrow i probably won't do much either but yeah it is nice in some aspects right now pretty much all my friends are celebrating connor's 23rd birthday so of course it sucks to not be able to celebrate with her and like all of our beautiful friends but hopefully i'll see them all sometime soon but yeah pretty crazy saturday night here in the Rachel Catherine household. I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos as well, but we're trying to stay off our phones from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. So at least the last hour or two of our night and the first hour or two of our mornings are like off our phone. And I've been loving it. Like I really enjoy not having my phone next to my bed. Like we charge them in the lounge room and it's just really good. And I don't find I like miss anything at all. So anyway, I am going to continue reading this and I will continue this vlog tomorrow. Good morning friends, happy Sunday. We watched online church this morning and then after that I kind of just was in like a cleaning headspace, like tunnel vision. But the house was already pretty clean so I was like, well what can I clean that I don't normally clean? So I kind of tidied this little outdoor area that we have. I just like swept it all and wiped down all the furniture. I also propagated some new little plants because all of my other propagations had roots. So this is one of them and I planted her and then all of these guys are brand new little propagations and so is this one. I also started propagating these little succulents which I've never done before so that is so fun. That's what these little two guys are. And then we just have empty pots down the bottom. <sighs> this guy is my pothis that I've had for like over four years. And he is not looking happy. He's looking so sad. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to look after him as much as possible. I actually just trimmed him a whole lot. And that's where all of these propagations came from. And again, they're not looking too hot. So we'll see how they go. But maybe... <sighs> I don't know I'm just so sad because this was like the first plant I ever bought so I really hope it's okay but I swept all this area and wiped down our outdoor furniture it looks so silly I feel like <laughs> in this space but I actually just ordered a brand new outdoor dining set last night so I don't know when that's gonna come in but it's just a much bigger dining table it's like a six 
Cedar so we can host a few more people which would be so nice but yeah cleaned that and then I went into the garage and totally like rearranged and decluttered that I'm not going to show you because it's really just not that cute like the, it's not aesthetically pleasing in any sort of way and even the storage itself is kind of just like whatever leftover storage we have goes in there it's just not that cute but it's practical and it's fine and no one really goes in there but I don't really know what to do with myself for the rest of the day I don't know if I already mentioned this but I wrote this little to-do list of things that I want to do in ISO and we've ticked off a decent amount of them I still have my paint by numbers that I haven't started I also need to wash our sheets I washed our towels yesterday so I need to get them off the line and put them away I really wanted to make a cookie skillet because I made one of those around Valentine's Day and it was so 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 good and so I have all the ingredients but we have so many treats right now <laughs> after my parents dropped off stuff the other day and then we had a few things already I think so I just don't think we need that in our household right now and the ingredients will last for quite a while so maybe I'll just make them when we can share them with some friends because obviously we can't do that right now that's kind of what's going on this Sunday so far not a whole lot I don't really know what I want to do and last night I read some more of my book I'm up to page 323 so I have about 150 pages left so I, I might be able to finish that today maybe not I also really need to finish this because I have 70 pages left I think that's it's gonna still take me a little bit longer. I probably won't finish it today, but I should make a dent in that. Just pretty crazy stuff. Guys, I'm making chicken enchiladas for dinner. I've never made them myself, so I'm kind of excited. My mom used to make them all the time, and I have her recipe in front of me, so I'm hoping it turns out the same, but we'll see. I already made the filling and the enchilada sauce. If you Google enchilada recipes, they're all very similar, and I don't know if this is even gonna turn out well. For the filling, it's just spring onion cheese, and I baked two chicken breasts with a bunch of spices, and then tore them up. Let's see how this goes. Happy Monday. Please ignore this mark. I was just like sitting like leaning. In. That looks so awkward, but I was just like leaning against myself for a second and left myself a mark. It's actually 1 p.m. on Monday. Mondays always go so fast. I never know where the time goes. There's always a lot to do and I've just been doing a bunch of work stuff this morning, but I swear it should be like 10 a.m. I don't know how it's 1 p.m. I woke up this morning and I just feel kind of like Blair. Not in terms of like feeling sick, but just more like I feel like I have not left my house in a long time. My hair was greasy. I haven't been able to like move my body properly. I just felt like kind of like not myself, a little bit gross. So I was like, okay, we're not gonna wear loungewear today. I'm gonna like fully get ready. I'm gonna wash my hair, put on a cute outfit. I'm wearing this dress from Princess Polly that I showed in my last vlog. My code is still valid. It's PPRACH20. If you guys wanna use it to get 20% off store wide, this is not sponsored. Just wanted to let you know. But it was just so nice to feel a little bit more put together. I'm not fake tanned at the moment, so I don't feel like my best self, but it's still so much better than just like staying in my pajamas all day. I also finished reading Divergent this morning and it was so good. I honestly think I'm gonna give it five stars. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did, but it was just so much fun. Like I can't really fault it. It was fast paced, it was adventurous, subplot of romance I know again like so many of you probably either read the book or have seen the movie like years ago I think the first movie came out in 2014 so I am very late hopping on this bandwagon but if you haven't seen the movies or if you haven't read the books or if you read them a long time ago but haven't picked them up in a long time please pick them up because they're just so much fun it just completely brought me back to the first time that I read The Hunger Games because it's such a similar vibe. Obviously the story is very different but dystopian world, there's like a girl who's like the chosen one, you have cast, she's at the lower end of the hierarchy of like the cast. 
underdog situation like kind of similar in that way so yeah if you haven't read it or seen the movie which is probably like one percent of you <laughs> please do yourself a favor and read it obviously i'm 23 years old and i'm still reading ya but i just love ya i think it's just really fun and i also went on like the library app on my phone and ended up borrowing the next two books in the series so i don't know if i'm gonna read them straight away i have them for the next two weeks i guess i'll just see what i'm feeling but yeah it was just so much fun let me know in the comments if you think that the next two books don't ruin anything for me but let me know if they get better or get worse like do you think the first book is like the best of the series or do they get better in each book let me know but i think i'm actually gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it obviously it was a very chatty vlog because there's not a whole lot for me to be doing at the moment but i had fun filming a little weekend vlog with you guys i actually also did another covid test this morning because i just wanted to like check that i was still negative and I was, which is incredible. So if all goes well, I'll be out of isolation in like a couple of days, which is just so, so, so exciting. But obviously you guys can keep up with that in the next weekly vlog because I need to start filming that. And also I never really addressed this. Obviously Liam had COVID slash has COVID. I don't really know if he still has it, but basically he was never really that sick. So I had a lot of people messaging me saying like, I hope Liam's okay because obviously some people get like absolutely wrecked by COVID and like awful temperatures and like can't get out of bed. And it's just like really, really, really bad. Liam was super blessed and hardly had any symptoms. The only reason he even tested in the first place was because he woke up with a runny nose one morning and we were supposed to see his grandparents and he was like, mm, I just have a funny feeling. I'm just going to do a test just in case. And so we did a test and it came back positive and we were shocked because he was hardly sick at all. But I'm so glad that he checked because obviously it would not have been good to see his grandparents when he had COVID. And then later that day, he did get a little bit more sick and he had like a little bit of a fever overnight and he had like a cough slash a runny nose for like two days but that was it so obviously very thankful that he wasn't really 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 sick he's like completely fine now and i honestly don't think he'll have any like lasting effects either like i know some people say that they're fatigued for like weeks on end after that but he has said that he feels completely fine so very blessed but i just wanted to say that because i feel like i did not <laughs> address that at all and i was fully just like yeah like liam has covid but i'm fine and i was just like rachel they're probably like where is Liam? He's like dying in a corner and I'm just like, I will. Like, I can promise you that's not the case. I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.